Hey there, it's Michael Bust. Welcome back to my channel where I share videos uh, specifically made for my Math 7 and Pre-Algebra students. So here we go. All right, another Dath joke before we get started. Why did one-fifth go get a massage? Because it was two-tenths. Get it? Two-tenths? Two-tenths? I know. It's a daft joke. In lesson 3.2, adding integers, we're going to look at one way uh, that we can think about adding integers and what happens when we add integers. And then uh, in another video, we're going to look at a different strategy. Um, I want you to get a kind of understanding of how both of these strategies work and then use the one that works best for you. Uh, just a reminder to you that our essential question for chapter 3 is what happens when you add, subtract, multiply, divide integers? And then our mathematical practice or mathematical behavior is going to be construct an argument. So we will focus on those two things throughout this chapter. Lesson 3.2, adding integers on pages 203 to 210, um, we're going to start off by adding integers with the same sign. Now, there's a couple of things to just kind of realize when you're doing this. Um, think about if the integers are both positive, then the sum is going to be positive. For example, 7 plus 4. That's going to be 11. Now, if both integers are negative, the sum is going to be negative as well. So in the other example, we have negative 7 plus negative 4. That's going to give us a larger negative number, or negative 11. So in example 1 on page 204, notice that both of my integers are negative. And so since both, negative, both numbers are uh, integers are negative, I'm going to have a negative sum. And then all I need to do is add the two values. So 3 plus 2 is 5. So negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5. In example 2, once again, I both, both of my integers are negative numbers. So I have a negative 26, and I'm going to add to that a negative 17. Well, since both of them are negative integers, my sum will also be a negative number. It's just going to be a larger negative number. So then I just need to take 26 and add 17 to it. So 26 plus 17 is going to be 42. Now it's your turn to try three problems A through C on page 204. Pause the video here so that you can come back in a second or two and check your answers with me. Problem A, I'm going to have negative 12. In problem B, I'm going to have negative 14. And in problem C, the sum of negative 14 plus negative 16 is going to be negative 30. How'd you do? So this time we have something that's a little bit different. Now we're going to add integers with different signs. Um, the sum is going to be positive if the absolute value of the positive number is greater than the absolute value of the negative number. So here's an example. 7 plus negative 5, that's going to equal positive 2. Well, I know it's a positive number because the absolute value of 7, which is 7, is greater than the absolute value of negative 5, which is 5. Now, if I had in this other example where I have negative 3 plus 10, I'm still going to have a positive sum because the absolute value of negative 3 is going to be less than the absolute value of 10. In example 3 on page 205, I want to find the sum of 
5 plus negative 3. Now, before I even do that, I want to figure out what the sine of my sum is going to be. Well, the absolute value of 5 is greater than the absolute value of negative 3, so my sum is going to be positive. So just knowing that uh, is going to be helpful. So now I have 5 plus a negative 3, which is going to be 2. The sum will be negative if the absolute value of the negative number is greater than the absolute value of the positive number. So I've got a couple of examples here. Negative 8 plus 2 is equal to negative 6. Now I know it's going to be a negative number because the absolute value of negative 8, which is 8, is greater than the absolute value of 2, which is 2. In this other example, 17 plus negative 20 equals negative 3, I know it's going to be a negative number because the absolute value of 17 is less than the absolute value of negative 20. All right, let's do example 4. I have negative 3 plus 2. So if I think about the absolute values of these two integers, the absolute value of negative 3 is greater than 2. So the absolute value of my negative number is greater than the absolute value of my positive number, my sum will be a negative number. So it's going to be negative 3 plus 2, which is going to be a negative 1. Now it's your turn to do problems D and E on page 205. Pause the video here, solve these, hit play again, and check your work with mine. I have 6 plus negative 7 is negative 1, and negative 15 plus 19 is going to be a positive 4. In these next three examples, I want to use a number line to show what the sum of both positive and negative numbers are. So in this first one, I have positive 7 minus 7. So if I use the number line and I go 7 units in a positive direction, then it says to go 7 units in a negative direction. And so I'm going to end up back where I started, which is going to be 0. So example six had me go in a negative direction from zero, eight units, and then from there I'm going to add or go in a positive direction three units from negative eight. And so if I just count from negative eight, I get negative seven, negative six, negative five. So negative eight plus three is going to be negative five. All right, in example seven, I'm gonna go two units in a positive direction, but notice I can go two units in a negative direction from that third integer, and that'll get me back to zero, and then I still have to go 15 units in a negative direction. That's the one I still have to go in that negative direction. So from zero, to 15 units in a negative direction, I'm going to end up at negative 15. So 2 plus a negative 15 plus a negative 2 is going to be negative 15. Now it's your turn to do problems F through H on page 205. Pause the video here and then work out the problems and then come back to the video and see how you did. From F, I have a sum of negative two. Problem G, I have a sum of positive five. And then in H, I'm gonna kind of combine some of the integers. So I have negative 14 plus a negative six that's going to be negative 20 plus 6, which is going to be a negative 14. So 
get yourself prepared for the following class period. I would like for you to work on problems 2, 4, 6, and 8 on page 207 and problem 12 on page 208. Make sure that you take a picture of your work, you upload it to Classroom before the start of our next class period so I can give you the appropriate feedback that you need and then that'll help us determine where you're going to work during that class period. See you then. And don't forget, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more math tutorial videos.